Often a mini riot at a county jail, but it did happen over the weekend in Sarpy County. Four men attacked the fire sprinklers last Friday in what is called the holding tank. As Don Granice reports tonight, they are now facing charges for causing so much damage. Here at the jail, the damage that these men created is being taken very seriously by the Sarpy County Attorney's Office. They say that that damage started to rain down on the very people who would be defending two of these men. Yeah, it is a little ironic. But public defenders say it won't influence their legal counseling. WWT6 News had the only camera there at the first court appearance for the four inmates. For the defenders, the damage was more of an inconvenience to them as they started their week, a costly one. I think ballpark figure right now we're looking at about $100,000. So how did this riot begin? They totally destroyed one of the sprinkler heads and the water started spraying out of that head. The sheriff's office says four men became unruly and damaged about 11 sprinklers after one man instigated the others. Apparently he prefers to be in the Douglas County Jail versus the Sarpy County Jail. This prisoner was recently transferred for a court hearing, so why the unrest? Well, there's no TVs at the Sarpy County Jail. That may be one factor, but it's never caused unrest like this, the first damaging mini riot they've ever seen. For one thing, there was so much water coming out of that sprinkler head and eventually the drain clogged and then the water had nowhere to go. Nowhere but downstairs to the public defender's office where it damaged computers, office supplies, ceiling tiles and the flooring, which is carpet. Every day we're over capacity and we have to house inmates in other facilities. Which means having no access to 22 holding rooms while repairs are done as this jail filled to the max. Fortunately, the Sarpy County and Douglas County jails have a great working relationship, so 18 of those men have been transported here, including the four that are facing criminal mischief charges and terroristic threat charges. A judge set their bail today for $1 million each for three and 500000 for the fourth prisoner. And yeah, Don, we researched the state law. It sounds like they would get an automatic probation for criminal mischief. Yeah, John, so I reached out to the county attorneys. They also tell me that if the terroristic threat charges stick, the punishment would be more severe. Thank you, Don Grenice, reporting live. There was a